Hi guys, welcome back to Vic Berry's TMD. Oh, hang on, there no, doesn't. No, that's not right, is it? No. Crompton's are in bits. I have bodies over here. You can't quite see, but out of the shots here is five chassis. But here they are. And what we're going to do today is take the chassis outside and we're going to weather them down a bit. Um, that will accentuate the detail on the chassis, if that is the right word. I think it is. It'll do. Uh, you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take you through the pressures I use and the consistency of the paint and how I work it out. Without further ado, it'll be noisier, but out to the cupboard area outside. See you in a sec. Right, what we have is a sitting pressure just below the 20. Um, but when I operate the air button on the airbrush, you'll see the pressure drops down to just above 14 and it stays constant because of the air reservoir I have on my particular compressor. So that gives me a consistent pressure for painting. So I've got, set the adjuster and got it with the air flowing on the airbrush, a standard continuous even pressure. Let go of the trigger and the pressure comes back up. Press the button on the airbrush, comes back down, which is why you need to get the air flowing before you let the paint into the brush. So basically all I have is some enamel thinners, some matte black humbrol paint, rail match frame dirt, and rail match brake dust. Now we won't be using very much of this at all, it's just a little highlighting thing. We're going to start with a coating of rail match frame dirt and then we're going to darken layers down on top using the black mixed with the frame dirt that's still in the airbrush. The first bit we're going to paint will be the wheel rims of which we can rotate by twisting the motor here so we can get it all the way around. Um, that will be just neat rail match frame dirt. Okay, so I've mixed the paint so it runs off the glass. Can you see it there? It settles quite quick. And you can see through it. So you swirl it around, it covers the glass, stop, and then quite quickly it clears as it runs down the inside of the glass. That's the consistency I want. And uh, so with 15 psi, We'll get a nice coverage on the paper there so that works that's looking nice so I'll sort of adjust the camera and we'll get on with painting okay, I'm not going to show you the whole painting of everything I'm just going to start and show you this corner of the bogey first I'm going to gently spray the wheel see that there we'll take the wheel around and do the next bit just just so we cover the wheel That's the wheel painted. And then a general blow over. Battery boxes. That's much better. You've got to remember to turn it around, you've got to get in the details. and above and below as well. So above the detail, fine mist, below the detail, and we'll just carry on working our way around the loco.
And the last thing we do is make sure we haven't missed the top corners of the bogies because they are tucked inside. Otherwise they look odd. So that is now all five logos got the base colour of rail match frame dirt. So I've got that much left which I'll put back in its pot and uh, we'll then keep a little bit of it and we'll add some matte black to it just so we can add a little bit of shading on areas of the bogies, battery boxes and fuel tanks. As you can see this colour is not black black but a dirty black colour. I should just bring the loco to the edge of the wood here so it's nice near the edge so the jar is nice and low and just shade in once we get rid of the frame dirt out of the brush it's still in there And then we'll shade in with the black some areas of like here and here. The battery box front. And it's just a subtle tone changes. And on the side of the bogey frame, steps. And that is it. That's all we're going to do now with this black is just a subtle little change on the flat areas on the side. A bit more on this side. We don't want them all the same, so I'll just want to take this one a bit more flat. carry on with the others. For the black I'm only doing straight in on the sides, on the flat surfaces. I'm not going in under details around it, just on the flat surfaces. And that just gives a tonal variation to an even brown colour. So that is those done and that. So we're now going to go over and you some rail match brake dust. So for the brake dust it's quite a bright colour but it doesn't stay that bright and you don't use very much of it at all so again mixed so it runs off the glass 
check the flow, check the colours coming through, which it is. And this is just very light dusting in the underframe where the brakes are. And that's it. That's all that takes. That will dry slightly paler. At least that minimum colour. And the springs. You can put a little bit under the fuel tank, down the bottom here, or up here. Not that you saw any yet. So we'll do just the other side. Again, just a tiny little bit dusting on the bottom of the bogey. A little bit on the end of the fuel tank. And the battery box. And that's it. That is all there is to do with that colour. And then we'll take these inside and we'll have a closer look in more even light. With how that's come out, with a nice variation in the colour of the underframe and looking a lot more realistic with just the body shell to do. However, it still just looks like a clean, serviceable Compton. And I'll just move that one out of the way and bring the rail freight pair out. Compare it to 3308, they're just subtly different in the state of the underframes. There we go guys, that's how I weathered the underframes on my Cromptons. A bit of production line and just whizzing around all five, it doesn't take that long. Um, what I'll probably do is, once this paint has hardened off over the next couple of days, I'll get a dry brush out and I may highlight bits like the top edges of steps and things like that, just to give a subtle detailing on various little pieces. So if you enjoyed my little video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and uh, any questions, Please stick them in the comments section below and uh, we'll see you next time. Enjoy your bottling. Bye.